You hate it. You hate me. Well, of course not. It's just... It's sudden. One minute I'm stood innocently trying to read Kate's scrawl, the next you're talking babies. So? Well, before when I thought we wanted kids, you were taking a pill. But I wasn't ready. Now I am. But what's oh, forget I asked. <sighs> no, Rana. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, we were we? I thought you wanted kids. I do. Wasn't Rana avoiding it last time? Exactly. She was all about being young, travelling, trying a business, getting out in the world, having fun. You just outlined my perfect life. You could, though. You and Imogen, what's stopping you? I hate relationships. Uh-oh. <laughs> you spend all the early bit hoping someone's who they seem to be, and then suddenly you realise you don't know them at all. You've proper gone off her, aren't you? <sighs> I don't know. I really liked her at first. <gasps> just get Rana up the duff. And then you and me can go travelling, whilst Imogen stays at home and watches Rana incubate. Problem solved. Don't know what I was worrying about. <laughs> Seriously, though, hasn't she just offered you exactly what you want? You'll still have the business and the van, the footy tournament, and then maybe next year you'll have a baby and all. You left him in the car, on the road. For like two... What would you call it? That? Fisherman's pie. No, my baby. I like old-fashioned names, me. What happened to Cecil? Uh, Khalid for a boy, Jamila for a girl, but Anna might not agree, so I'll settle for middle names. <sighs> Again? I've texted saying I ring her after. Maybe it's important. I'm an evil person. No creme brulee for you, then. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I'm keeping you both amused. Imogen, could you not have just answered your phone and said now's not a good time? I'll just, uh, bins. Well, you stood next to Zidane before when he answered your phone. No. I don't believe you. What, is this because of jokes about getting married? What, you, you've heard of a joke, have you? No, it's just... We barely even know each other. Look at us having a row at work. We've only been going out five minutes. So what are you saying? That... I don't know. Maybe we need to slow down. Slow down or, or stop? Don't mess me about, Kate. OK. Stop. Yeah, I guess I'm not ready for this. Enjoy your tea. The coast is clear now. You can help yourself. <laughs> to what? I had an ex like you. So much in denial that she had to treat me like a complete bitch for the first six months that I knew her. <laughs> Denial of what? You fancy, Kate. What? Hi. Hi. You caused trouble for us from the off. Jealous. Well, good luck with her. <laughs> Do not fancy Kate. <laughs> You're drunk. No. But I'm about to be. You're welcome to her. Hi. You dozy cow. Forgot this. <sighs> Is that with her? I don't know. And it's none of your business. Oh, that's me told. Some happened? No. Stay put, I'll take my break. Believe it, she's not angry. Strangely, no. Come on, I'll buy you a pint. There you go. Don't tell Ty I shall go all health and safety on me. Thanks. But do tell Shawnee. Z turned me down. I said I want us to have a baby. Don't tell me I was the Yasmin in that decision. That's what I want. Only he doesn't. Well, it's a bit of a 180 from you, isn't it? No, it's not. Well, I ain't. It's like having a conversation with a lamb line. Just a bit sudden for him, that's all, maybe. I mean, I'm a bit taken aback. It's not even my baby. Let him sit on it for a bit, eh? Maybe you could do with a bit of a cooling off period too. You don't get 28 days to return your goods, not with a baby, no way. There's no going back. I don't want to go back. It's what I want. Oh, that's him. He can wait. I don't want another row. Let it settle in his head and then broach it again. And in the meantime, you enjoy your wine while you can. Your mum is in our hearts and she's in his memories and no one